every single year, we look forward to joining the war on Christmas on the side against Christmas, okay? Every year, I talk about how the conservatives love to whip up this war against Christmas shit, and it transforms, but it's more or less the same thing every every year. The queers, the gays, they're trying to steal your Christmas away from you. Uh, maybe it's the atheists, maybe it's the liberals, uh, or some mix of all of those. Um, and this continues even to this year. Um, we're reacting right now to a video by none other than Louder with Crowder, the most embarrassing conservative comedian, a man who li whose daddy literally pays yes men to laugh at him, which is really, really funny in my opinion. Um, I think that's the funniest part about Steven Crowder, in fact. Um, and so we're going to watch his, his reaction. Uh, Steven Crowder is very, very angry, everyone. And I want us to be very careful because, you know, conservatives have sensitive feelings. So let's try not to be too mean to Steven Crowder when we watch this segment, which will inevitably be full of a lot of homophobia. Let's check. Let's find out. Let's find out, shall we? Shall we find out exactly what we have in store for us? Well, let's do it. Ad called when Harry met Santa. Uh, hmm. And I know what you're thinking. Um... Like, well, that's, it's exactly what you're thinking. It's about a, it's about a, <laughs> yeah. it's celebrating gayness with uh, mm -hmm. uh, a Santa who appears like he might be one of the visions from Thinner. Oh, good. Uh, so thinner? let's watch this right what's now thinner? in case you haven't seen this. I'm Merry sorry, wait, Christmas. What's Thinner? What's Thinner? Thinner? Is that a movie? Apparently, Thinner is like a Steven Crowder horror movie, and apparently Santa looks like this. Apparently, Santa looks like a character from Thinner. When did this movie come out? This movie came out. This has a 15% score on Rotten Tomatoes. This came out in 1996. Literally. 1990s era homophobia is what we're going to see here. Christmas, we can't just, well, hold on, before we go to this, <laughs> Jesus. people always say like, well, what's your solution? You, well, well, what's your response? Oh, how about we just don't have a uh, uh, blatantly homosexual Santa? That's all. That's not, I'm not suggesting yeah, anything one else. Thing. Why not? Why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? Why not have a gay Santa? Again, nothing says that Santa can't be fucking gay. Are you like getting, like... Are, are, are you are you trying to say there's like fucking uh uh like a like a like a like a like a like a lore that you have to be like attendant to that you need to go to the original source materials santa claus has been reformed like in a hundred ways santa itself like santa himself the concept of santa is a fucking remix of an older tradition like if you want to even this is so this is why i hate conservatives so much they larp about being traditionalist and then they don't even know the traditions that they supposedly follow it's so stupid. That's it's so fucking stupid. Why would you get mad about Santa lore when Santa itself is a a what's the word a uh, uh, a corruption of an older type of Father Christmas? So so fucking dumb. Let's keep going though. I'm just saying. Yeah. We don't need it. Yeah. He doesn't have to have two beards. You know, no, exactly. Mrs. Claus at home. <laughs> <laughs> Old dated '90s joke. The beards joke. Nobody uses that terminology anymore. Any gay person knows. Nobody fucking uses that terminology anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want heterosexual. I don't want to think of Santa and sex in the same sentence. Right. Okay? No. Unless Let's he's just... banging mommy. I don't. So mommy kissing Santa Claus. I either don't that's want that that's either. a great role playing song or a wonderful little medley about adultery. Have you seen? Ah, it's about adultery. It's bad. It's in... I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. That shit. That's you're gonna. Fr that's about adult. You're stupid. His True. his body. I mean, the, in the way he eats, that man hasn't had a good erection since the fifties. No. Probably true. <laughs> yep. Again. I said this before, before the stream went out, but I'm going to say it again because it's, it, it bears repeating. The, uh, the human embodiment of erectile dysfunction. Do you think this man has a healthy sex life? Do you, do, you, do you think that this guy right here, who's like hair plugs are currently coming out, do you think this guy has a good sex life? Nah. Nah. Self-report of self-reports. Turbo level self-report. It's a mug of sus over here. You can all that seen it. oak. Yeah. That's why, well, that's why he's Cialis. But Mrs. Oh, Claus' name is Alice. She, he goes, see, Alice? Oh, boy. It's almost, it's almost there. <laughs> I, I can't see it. Can you? 
I taped it to a popsicle stick. <laughs> really? You can shrink your, she just comes, imagine being Santa Claus coming, I'm like, you can go around the whole country in one night, you can squeeze your body through a keyhole, but you can't go down. So. <laughs> You're a sleigh track. Sorry, Santa definitely eats muff. 100%, 100%. We all know, we all know. Santa, the cookie eating king? Come on, come on. Went right we know he goes down, don't even try. Steven Crowder wouldn't even know what to do if he saw a pussy. He doesn't even know what a pussy looks like. Apparently he has a kid. I don't believe it. That gay movie theater. Yes. <laughs> so this is, I'm just avoiding this yep, because this is a... Uh, ah, uh, yes. What a great... Let's. Can we hear that one again real quick? Hold on. Can we, can we do this again? We use your body through a keyhole, but you can't go down. So. <laughs> your sleigh tracks went right to that gay movie theater. Yes. <laughs> Your sleigh tracks went right to that gay movie theater. Guys, when was the last time you went, hey, gays, my audience is full of gays. Hey, gays, quick, real quick. Hey, hold on. I don't even, like, has there even been a gay theater since, like, literally the year 1990? Every theater is a gay theater now. Are you fucking kidding me? None of calls them a gay theater. Like, that's, like, literally, like, a 1970s stereotype. That's like a seven. That's like a, literally a '70s stereotype. It's not even a '90s one. Like I, like I think the last like m like devoted gay theater that anybody knows anything about, like cl like stopped doing that in like the '90s. The fuck, literal nonsense. I, look at that. Just like the, the the vote speaks for itself. This fucking shit is. These people are so such boomers. It's hilarious. <laughs> so this is, I'm just avoiding this yep, because this is, uh, this is aimed Terrible. at everybody, including children in Norway. Um, I would rather they be- This just proves that Crowder is an OG truck stop closet gay. Yup. You know, this is, this is the look of a man who spent many hours at a truck stop. Not because he drives a truck. You watching Let the Right One In. Here we go. Let's watch Gay Santa for the Norwegian. Let the Right One In is a Swedish movie. It's a work of art, and it has n almost nothing to do with Christmas. I think maybe there's like a part where they celebrate Christmas or something. Just a idi moron level joke. Just shit. Joke fails. Just doesn't make any sense. In postal service, this is where we are. Heck yeah. It starts off. Right? <laughs> I think this is super cute. I think this is fucking cute so far. I'll be back next year. Okay, so he only gets to see Santa once a year. And he's sad because Santa's leaving and he misses him. This is touch. I actually think this is good acting. It's good acting. It's cute. Yeah, what the fuck? That's sad. Do I look nice? You look nice. I'll miss you. And there he's sad, one day each year. <laughs> and he's sad here thinking one more year. Very dramatic. It's I can't drive. hear the sleigh bells. Now, notice that, what are they making fun of here? They're not making fun of this being like tacky. It isn't really tacky. It's, it's quite high quality. They're not making fun of the quality of it. They're making fun of the fact that it's gay. Like, literally... They're just making fun of it because it's it's gay. There's there's no way around that. This is just a video being homophobic. Anymore. Did Darren Aronofsky? All I want for Christmas is you. Oh, I can't hear the and he's writing to Santa. He belts anymore. Hi. Did Darren Aronofsky direct? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did Santa die of AIDS? When do the Rock people come in? Did Santa die of AIDS? Because he's gay, get it? Get it? It's literally, he's Santa, he, ha, he, can, he only can leave the North Pole once a year, and he sees this person he loves once a year. But, oh, did he die from AIDS? <laughs> Is that a shrunken head Christmas ornament? Is that a shrunken head Christmas ornament? This one I caught the first time before the stream crashed. Yep. Yep. No, it isn't. That is not... That is, that's one of these things. It's one of these things. It's a little, it's a little, uh, Scandinavian gnome. That's a traditional Christmas ornament. What are you talking about? It's not a fucking shrunken head, you moron. You culturally insensitive idiot. And Norwegian Billy Bob Thornton is Yes. 
<laughs> Ew, a woman. <laughs> oh, get away. Gross. Again, apparently their entire understanding of gay people is the joke from The Simpsons where uh, where Smith, Mr. Smithers is like afraid of boobs because he's like he actually has like a compulsive fear of boobs. That's their one joke from the 90s. A joke from The Simpsons in the 90s. Is that all gay people are all disgusted by women? The fuck? He opens the door with his pants. Oh, sorry, I thought you were a boy. Actually, it's really funny. The, there's only one. I've only ever met one gay person who is like actively disgusted by by women, and that person was such a sweetheart. They like they were like they just didn't. They found pussies disgusting. That's the only gay person I've ever met who was like disgusted by by that. And I, whatever. Okay, that person literally. They were, su they were such a loving person. They gave their kidney to their best friend. Not their lover. Their best friend. They gave their fucking kidney. That's the only gay person I've ever met who who was, like, disgusted by female bodies. And literally one of the most kindest people I've ever met. Literally gave an organ to the friend because he was a match. Unbelievable. Un un fucking believable Anyway, whatever. Hmm. Um... Oh my god, wait, I didn't catch this. So wait, he he had the post deliver presents this year so that Santa could spend the whole of Christmas with the boyfriend. Gay! Is it, is it just Yeah, you? dude, yeah, it's gay. That's awesome. Yeah, that's gay. That's gay as fuck. That is cute. That is gay as fuck. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Abso fucking lootly. Abso fucking lootly. Is Santa getting very thin? A yeah, bit, yeah, like North yeah. Philadelphia. He's, uh... I hope in one of those... For those who don't get it, Philadelphia was a film from the early 2000s or the late 90s about a lawyer who was played by Tom Hanks, a real lawyer, a really accomplished gay lawyer who uh, contracted HIV and then was discriminated against by the law firm because just because he was gay. And he uh, sued that law firm and won. And it was a, it was, they made it into a movie. It's like considered like a classic film. Um, and the joke is that he has AIDS. So that's the joke again. The joke here is that he's gay. He has AIDS. Those boxes okay. is a it test. Is, uh, oh, no. Goes, no, 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 goes, no, 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 no. Comes down my chimney with Prev pill. <laughs> that's prep. That's prep. Prev? What is Prev? What's Prev? Prev? Is this a real, is that a real thing? It's not, it's prep. He meant to say prep. And he said prev. What a moron. Turns what out he's idiot. just a homeless man who's sneaking into his yeah. house every year. <laughs> I'm not no, no, Santa. No, 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 no. Oh, man. Look at this. You want to see snowflakery? Watch snowflakery in action. We're going to zoom in on the snowflakery, okay? We're going to zoom right in on the snowflakery. You fucking ready? Watch this shit. Ready? Watch the snowflakery. Santa? No, 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 yucky. Yucky gays. Yucky, ew. Damn you all. Wait a minute. He's hair. He's about to shake him like a bowl full of jelly. Your beard tastes like another man. Do you do this at every house? Yes. Yes, I do. I am Father Christmas. I didn't know Santa. In 2022, Norway marks 50 years of being able to love whoever we want. Santa delivered the porta potties. I was wondering why that beard looks so crunchy. <laughs> hey. What? Dude, what? <laughs> want to see that court case? You're gonna, I have here all these dildos for Santa Claus. <laughs> It's, it's called when Harry met Sant. I'll have what he's. Wait, having. he made that joke. Wait, he made that joke. Wait, wait. This guy made the joke that Steven Crowder made at the beginning. Do we not remember the very beginning? He said that exact same joke. This guy just cribbed his own Please. dude's joke. Ad called when so Harry met Santa. <laughs> Good news, everybody. Santa Claus is gay. Yay! 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 Yay. 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 True. Yay. You should see what that guy does to the Easter Bunny when he comes. Santa's been to too many truck stops. That's a bit on the nose. Weren't we just... Yeah. 
to his house. How many oh. houses did you not visit when you were giving that guy a bath? <laughs> I don't know. That's what's... <laughs> yeah. Steven Crowder has such ridiculous virgin energy. Wait, did he make a bestiality joke? I didn't catch that. Uh, these people have no lives. Do you know how? Do you know how uh, intimate it is to like bathe with somebody? Like literally an ancient intimate thing. Taking a bath with somebody that you love, like washing each other, is like primally intimate. Okay. Um. Just saying, okay? And these guys are like, oh, hey, what you, what you gonna do? Give him a bath. <laughs> these people have these people have no love in their life. These are the most cold, crustiest, hardest in heart individuals you can possibly imagine. These people have never had a moment of tenderness in their entire lives, and it shows. It really shows. God, it shows, and how salty they are about this. Holy fuck. What was that? He was in the Hey, come on over here and sit on a, sit on uh, oh, Harvey weird. Milk and Cookies lap. Oh. Harvey Milk and Cookies? Wait, because Harvey Milk was gay and his What? What? Why are you ordering presents from somebody else? You bang Santa. You yes. don't have an inn? <laughs> exactly. You would think <laughs> yeah. you have the inside lane. Yeah, he knows what you want. This is got a harem of elves. Why man. does can Christmas make have whatever to be you gay? Want. I no, it's not Harvey Weinstein. There's a, Harvey Milk was a uh, politician in America who was assassinated. A gay politician who was assassinated, right? Wasn't he assassinated? Am I wrong about that? Am I getting him mixed up with somebody else? He was the first openly gay politician in America. Assassination. Yeah, he was killed for being a gay politician. Yeah. He was he was killed for being gay. Assassinated for being gay. And that's the joke that Steven Crowder went with. Yeah. Like do you guys real like I know this is no surprise coming from Steven Crowder, but you realize this is the shit that's like currently roiling on YouTube, right? And these are the people who say that they're like being censored all the time. The all they have is like, haha, what if he was like this guy who was assassinated for being gay? I don't understand why it's like it's the birth of Christ, okay? Manger, okay, Santa yeah, Claus, yeah. a saint, it. right? Saint, we understand this. He's a saint, Saint Nicholas. Right. There's a story that gave up all of his. Santa is a di is like a character who's derivative from Saint Nicholas, but he's not the same person. They're like they're mythologically distinct. Yes, they bleed into each other, but like if you want to be lore accurate, you need to go to Father Christmas before fucking Saint Nicholas belongings yeah and of yeah. course saint nicholas probably looked more turkish if you understand but then you know we turned him into a dutch white guy but now he's got to be everything has to be gay every, every, every single thing i'll be honest he looked more one commercial remember everything has to be gay and they're referring to one commercial by the norwegian post the norwegian state post made a a, a little short film about gay rights in norway and that's everybody has to be gay now this is the fragility. The fragility is so much. If anybody ever tells you that white, like white cis male, cis het male fragility doesn't exist, especially that is like the, the fragility fucking egg. This right here. Oh, one commercial in a country I don't live in that I regularly shit on made a commercial I don't like. Oh, that would be cool, Abe Y. That's a good idea. That's a really good Turkish idea. Turkish there. Yeah. <laughs> Jingle balls. Jingle balls. <laughs> Here comes Santa Claus. Here comes oh, Santa Claus. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Santa baby. Give him the aim. Or Santa gaby. Yeah. Coming ah. down my chimney tonight. What's funny about that? What's funny about that? What's funny about Santa gaby coming down this chimney? Can you tell me? Anybody? Can anybody tell me what's funny about that? Besides, oh, he's gay. Wow. Amazing. Incredible. He oh, incredible comedy here. I saw daddy blowing Santa Claus <laughs> while mama cried upstairs. 
<laughs> Good. Oh. Fuck your mom. Oh, horny night. Santa has a boner. Santa. That song isn't about Santa Claus. That song's about Jesus. It does Fall on your knees. <laughs> to blow his Saint Nicholas. I can't listen to Christmas music anymore. To blow his Saint Nicholas? Dude. Come on. <laughs> Santa's nuts on. roasting on an open fire. <laughs> on the third day of Christmas, Santa gave to me <laughs> a penis. He struggled there. Can we watch that again? Watch the guy's gears turning. Watch the smoke pour out of his ears. Just watch. Just watch. As he tries to think of a joke. <laughs> on the third day of Christmas, Santa uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, fuck, fuck, Santa fuck. Gave to me. One, two, three, four. A penis. <laughs> <laughs> That's a penis? That's all he could come up with is a penis. And they're all like dying. They're all fake laughing like it's the funniest shit they've ever seen. God, these guys are so fucking stupid. <laughs> I, was like, Where is he going? I just wanted to pause for as long as I could. We don't want to catch AIDS. Come on. Come on. Frosty. Uh, okay, so that's just raw homophobia again. Another just raw. Oh, we don't want to catch. Uh, he's gay. That means AIDS. I'll take a look at this meme real quick. True. When I'm being in an unfunny competition and my opponent is a conservative, you're fucked. You lose. There's no one less funny than conservatives. Let me tell you that much. No one. No one on the world is less funny than a conservative. And this is proof of it. Every single episode of Louder with Crowder is the is negatively funny. Just it actually takes laughs away from you. The blow man. No. Oh, no. And torn and brown. Um, Look, let's be honest. I could. <laughs> we don't want to catch AIDS. Come on. Come on. Frosty the blow man no, was used no. and torn and brown. Um, the blow man was used and torn and brown. So that's an anal sex joke about blowing. These guys are fu suck such fucking fucking virgins. These guys are such fucking virgins. It's so sad. Dude, I could come up with better than this. You make a, if you want to make a song about Frosty the Blow Man, you make him out of fucking cocaine, dude. That makes more sense. Frosty the Blow Man, get it? He's made out of fucking cocaine. That's funnier. You could have also done Frosty the Whole Man. Frosty the Whole Man always sticks his dick in cake. Because he's always looking for badonk a donk So be, I don't know, so be gay for goodness sake. Bam. I just did it better. Bam. Better. Already. Bam. Look, let's be honest about this. There's nothing wrong with uh, creating confusing sexualization for children, which is completely unnecessary. Sex How is anything about what we watch confusing? At all. At all. Sex doesn't need to be brought into Santa. No, not at all. Santa doesn't need to be grooming little kids for decades, apparently, too. What are you talking about? Wh what? What? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't even think he has sex with Mrs. Claus. Did you no, see what he did no. with that Coke bottle? Mm. <laughs> Jeez. I like how what? he's showing the guy magic. Yeah. yeah. And the guy's like, wow, I can't wait to oh. do you. No, they're f they're being tender. These people literally don't understand t human tenderness. Oh, oh my. They're so fucking stupid. Like, I've waited all year. Watch me make your pants disappear. Yeah. <laughs> We're 20 minutes in and it's been nothing but gay Santa jokes. Well, well that's their yes, fault. Not I didn't make the... the. It's their fault for being gay. Commercial? I would only have done it as a joke. <laughs> they Watch. did it in seriousness. Next year, yeah. he's just going to bang an Eminem. Yeah, next <laughs> he does Oh, exist. no. Oh, no. Yeah, next year. <laughs> They, they do, do exist. exist. Yeah, exist. And it hurts. He's just holding two M&Ms together like a butt. <laughs> <laughs> He's holding two M&Ms together like a butt. Did you? Like a butt because he's gay. You guys get it? He's gay. Do you get it? He's gay. He Like a butt. Because gay people like butts. Men's butts. Wow. But ha 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 he. 
Just your mouth. Two M and M's. They do melt in your mouth and not in your hands. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. You guys comment. I'm sorry. Did we go off the rails too quickly? Wait, that joke. That joke didn't even make sense. He was fucking it. Why would it be? Not to get to, but I think this deserves to be lambasted. It does. Yeah, deserves the scorn. <laughs> it's just a. Why does it deserve scorn? Because it's gay. That's the answer. The answer. It deserves scorn because it's gay. That's what they're saying. They're literally right now. It deserves to be made fun of j just because it's gay. That's it. A giant box of some kind of pudding. Yeah. <laughs> Watch. What do I say about that, huh? What do I, what can I possibly say about a video that is just 20 minutes, no, seven minutes of raw homophobia? Like, this is the shit. This is what, this is where the, this is the state of conservatism, okay? You guys probably listen to me talk about like gay liberation and, 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 and trans rights and all this shit all the time. This is the state of at least like, like a solid 30% of America literally thinks gay people are just gross and we and they should be made fun of and scorned just because they're gay they literally cannot even look at human tenderness because they've they've dehumanized gay people to such a degree that even like genuine expressions of love can't get past their hate of gay people he did a whole stream pushing gay pedophile connection of course he did this is one of the most popular figures on the conservative, on, on the right of America. Like right now, like right now. It's honestly fucking pathetic. And uh, I don't know, like, I don't even know how to say like, you, you, there's nothing to laugh at here. This is just, if you did, like you could substitute anything. This is just a hate screed. There's nothing, there's nothing else about this. There is nothing but homophobia here. The same joke over and over again. He's dying of AIDS. not funny nobody nobody laughed except for them i wonder what the comments are like should we look at the comments oh wow here we go Ooh, let's look at the comments we'll hide the little tiny chat for a second okay all right here we go we're gonna hide ch tiny chat okay i couldn't watch it so disgusting and they wanted kids to watch this nasty beautiful commentary does santa have to wear the leather mask with zipper or is that the other guy a, 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 like a, a gimp mask? G Children don't need to see Santa sticking his tongue down anyone's throat. That was not in the commercial. That was not in there. He just smooched him. There was no fucking tongue. What are you talking about? Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus are like kindly grandparents who we would never want to imagine doing anything romantic or sexual because that's not what grandparents do as far as grandchildren are concerned. literal toddler view of the world this is mixing a children's character with adult themes santa was not just a children's character santa is now a, i mean Sa santa is now a children's character next thing we know the children's cartoon edition of romeo and juliet will be out teaching their innocent minds about the pain of forbidden love between members of warring factions that's been done a million times already this reminds me of the episode of The Simpsons where Sideshow Bob takes over Krusty's show and starts reading to the kids The Man in the Iron Mask. We do not need to have these themes intermingled with children's characters. They could have created any other scenario, but no, they had to char target a children's character. It's one commercial from a country on the opposite side of the world of these people. And all they have is 1990s Simpsons comedy. These are brain-dead individuals. These are people who have been so disconnected from the people around them, from the like, from like young people that they don't even know. They've, they're, they're decades out of date. I'm sorry, honey. Santa doesn't exist. He did, but then he killed himself after seeing a commercial. What? As a Norwegian, all I want to say is let's go, Brandon. Merry Christmas from Norway. Puts the lyric, isn't it good Norwegian wood in a new light? I don't even know what that means. Dave is a genius. I am laughing so hard right now. Oh. I peed my pants laughing. Okay. 
I laughed way too hard at this. My year has been made. <laughs> I agree with Crowder's political and social views, but man, I find him unfunny most of the time. Fucking roasted! Fucking roasted! So turns out Santa has been grooming our boys for a hell of a long time. Quite a lesson in delayed gratification. You think it would blow my mind that instead of Saint Lick Nicholas, we now have Taint Dickolus. But surprisingly, nah, the world has lost the pot and I just live in it. Hey, this is funnier! <laughs> Taint Dickolus? That's funnier! Hey, that's put that one in the video! That was funnier! That's fucking way funnier! Are you kidding me? So fucking <laughs> That's better. That one's a good, that one, it's still homophobic, but it's funnier. Oh. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh. Soup brain. I told you, they're all soup brained. They're completely and utterly soup brained. Nothing. They've got fucking nothing. Jesus Christ. What a fucking mess.